am Chelsea. I'm working with Auburn Medical Group with Dr. Vaughn. And today here we have Don and he's got a, a mass or lump in his head that we think is either a pilo, pilar cyst or a lipoma. But uh, we're gonna figure, find that out today and excise it. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah. Are you excited to get it removed? Yeah. Yeah. Hungry too. <laughs> yeah. I should show up here more often. All right. <laughs> I'm home full shampoo and everything. Yeah. So lipoma is a, t a benign tumor that's made up of an overgrowth of like fat cells, like fatty tissue. And it kind of looks like a bunch of yellow um, fat tissue that uh, forms like a lump. And that's what that could be, or it could be a cyst of some kind, but we're going to send it into pathology and find out exactly what we just took out. So how long have you had this? I don't know. You don't know. I'm old. I don't remember things. You have a little friend in your head that's going to go away today. That's what my lady friend said. <laughs> Get it taken out. All right. So we're going to start with numbing. So to me, this looks like a pilar cyst, which is very common in the scalp. Have you ever had one of these before? Is this no. your only one? This is it. I believe it tends to run in families, actually. And some people will have multiple on their head. Hmm. But they are benign, not cancerous. Good. Could also be like a lipoma or like a fatty pieces of fat there. But I think it's a pilar cyst. I hope it's a pilar cyst. Tell me if you feel anything. You feel anything? No. Wonderful. So gently as to not uh, go so much through the skin that you pierce the sac, but yet you do still have to get down to the sac. <laughs> That's the trick. Good start. Okay. So don't go any bigger than you already are as far as top to bottom. Mm -hmm. But within that top to bottom, you have to go deeper. Go deeper than that? Yes. And of course, the patients love to hear that you have to go deeper and not, oh, you went too far. If I edit that properly. Should we use blunt, blunt dissection? Try some blunt dissection. See, see if you're, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to separate. So my favorite is to uh, take these guys and with, some, with a sharp instrument, mm -hmm. blunt dissect. So you kind of just go under the skin and separate, you must separate. That's what Dr. Tan used to say. You must separate. They say that Dr. Tan was a medical doctor in China. Oh, man. So that technique. They say? The other medical students. Yeah, make sure that the points are together when you go in. Is it, is it separating for you? Mm-hmm. So we, even though that's a sharp instrument, we call it blunt dissection because the, the dissection is the scissors opening rather than cutting. Oh, you're doing a great job. Do you guys need any light? I was just about to say. The epinephrine is helping with the bleeding. That's why we, uh, this is beautiful. You are my last patient of this rotation. Oh, good. I told you I like ladies better than guys. <laughs> well, you came to the right place. <laughs> ladies have better fingers than doctors. Yes, 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 yes. Putting traction on it from the sides to deliver it. Oh, I want to see this. I I'm not in the way, am I? No. Oh, that's beautiful. You need a little bit more. Could be. <gasps> I think you're going to do it. This is beautiful. Just pushing on you. Mm, yes. Oh, yes. Um, Chelsea. Yes. The pre-op diagnosis was pilar cyst. Mm -hmm. Does that look like a pilar cyst to you? Um, it, no. Pilar cysts are a little bit more rubbery or smooth. Well, I was gonna say, yeah, this is this is probably rubbery, I would guess, compared to a pilar cyst. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, be very careful there. And we'll we'll take a look at it when you get it out on the um, 
on the tray here. Uh, I think you may have something else. Something else that commonly will occur in a scalp. Actually, they can occur anywhere in the body. Uh, Pylor cysts, of course, occur in the scalp. I do. I think it is. You think it's a what? I think it's something else. I don't think it's cystic. Yeah, so, it seems so, a little So bit what else would be in the layer just under the skin? The fat layer. What we were saying before, maybe a lipoma? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not round and circular. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at it. Go ahead and get, yeah, go ahead and really get in on that. And, uh... Pain there? Oh. Nope. Good. Yeah. Still a few more pieces. Oh, yeah. We, we do want to get the whole thing. Although, even if we did stop here, uh, the bump would be so much smaller that uh, it would not have that uh, bump you see out on from the outside of the scalp. You may still be able to feel it if you... If you really pushed. What school? California North State University. Where's that? It's in Elk Grove. Never even heard of it. Well, now you have. <laughs> you can tell people that a student from there took out your, your friend here. Okay. They just graduated their second class last week. Or was it this week? Hmm. Last week, yeah. Last week, last week. I want to make sure we got everything. Nice. Still a little few little pieces. It really looks good. You're doing so excellent. Burrow is probably good. Or even closer. Okay. I don't want to be that far off. And then, nice. Yeah. Uh, as much as you can, having the, the tip of the needle perpendicular to the surface that you're going through, which you did. I didn't see if you did it going in. You certainly did coming out. Maybe you did going in too. <laughs> Good. We prefer for the edges to be everted if possible, but. Um, everted? Hope you weren't planning on going to a swim party. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that skinny dipping trip up in the mm -hmm. Bear River will have you hold off until <laughs> the weekend. I'm going to wait on my haircut. Haircut, you probably want to wait till we get the sutures out, which will be in, oh, I'd say seven to ten days. Okay. Did she get an A? Absolutely. I hope so. I do you too. get an A, too. Do I get an A from you? Yeah. Oh, Wonderful. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Dawn, and thank you to Boo Boo Kitty and Lindsay Antwine, our um, channel subscribers. And again, thank you, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you next time. There is a next time.